Hi, my name is Steve Stein, and today what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna be looking at a simple way to try and memorize the notes on your guitar. Now, I remember a long time ago when I was teaching a lesson, I was teaching a student the chromatic scale, we call it, which is all the notes, and we were trying to memorize all the notes across the six string, and um, the problem that I found when I would teach this to students is they would have a tendency of wanting to kind of count up every time. So I would say, you know, find B, and they would have to count up, or I would say, find D, and they would count up. So it, I started thinking about an easier way of trying to memorize these notes so we wouldn't have to do that, and that's what I want to show you today. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by just simply understanding that the notes in music, uh, not worrying about sharps or flats, but the, the, the standard notes are going to be A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So if we can find those notes on the a six string, and of course, subsequently on the other strings, we can do the same thing, uh, it would make this a whole lot easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the odd numbered frets, and we're going to focus on those. And the reason we're doing that is because your odd numbered frets oftentimes will have dots on them that you can see. Now the first fret may or may not have a dot, your guitar might not have any dots, but oftentimes you'll find guitars that, that do. So we're focusing on those odd numbered frets. So when we pluck this six string, the note that we hear is E. Okay, so that's the first thing we need to make sure that we know. The second thing we're going to do is we're gonna to move to the first fret, which is an odd numbered fret, and we're gonna play that, and that note is F. Okay, so E, F. And then we're going to move to the third fret, and that is G. Okay, so E, F, G. Then we're going to move to the fifth fret, and that note is A, because in the musical alphabet we go kind of in a circle, if you think of it, we go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then it starts all over in what we call an octave doing the same notes, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, over and over and over. So we don't have an H or a Q or something like that. So we go E, F, G. Now we go to the next odd numbered fret, which is the fifth fret, that's going to be A, and then we go to the next odd numbered fret, this is going to be B. So if you think about it from that perspective, what we've done so far is we've memorized over half of the fretboard up through the 12th fret here, the one with the two dots. The two dots is telling us that we've gone an octave. So if this is E, so is this. Okay, so we're going from zero to 12. So we're already at seven. We have E, F, G, A, and B. And what I tell people to do is memorize both the fret number and the name. So if you have someone that can help you, for instance, you might have them say, what's at the seventh fret? And you would say, B, what's at the third fret? G, what's at the first fret? F, and you go around, or they would say, where's F, first fret? Where's B, seventh fret? So you memorize it both directions to keep track of what you're doing, okay? Now, the reason I paused on B is because we've done the easy part. Now, here's the deal. If we move up to the next dot, this note is actually C sharp. Now, in my guitar course, Music Theory Made Easy 2.0, we're gonna learn all about all of these notes, where they are, how they work, um, all the theory behind them, and um, expand that. But in this video, I just wanna show you kind of a shortcut. So this note right here being C sharp, okay, what we're going to do is we're gonna surround that dot and C and D are going to surround that dot. Now, I remember teaching this to a little girl many, many years ago, and I was saying, so we're memorizing F, G, A, B, and then C and D surround this dot. And she looked at me and she goes, that looks like rabbit ears. And so ever since then, I teach this as rabbit ears, C and D right there, okay? So we have F, G, A, B, C and D, all right? So E, F, G, A, B, C and D. One, three, five, seven, eight, and ten. And that's a simple way for you to get started on memorizing where those primary notes are on the guitar. Zero, one, three, five, seven, eight, and ten. Rabbit ears, which would be E, F, G, A, B, C, and D. Okay? Now, again, we're not going to go real deep into this because I just want to show you something simple. But if you're questioning, F and G right here, for instance, one and three, well, what's in between there? F sharp or G flat, we call it. F sharp and G flat are both existing on the second fret. We call those enharmonics, which means basically it's the same note with two different names. So if we had G and A, what's in between G and A? Well, G sharp and A flat. Now, the reason it's nice to memorize it this way is because you can start off by absolutely memorizing, and I always use the term absolution. Without a doubt, 
where these notes are. Instead of trying to memorize all 12 of them, just start with the primary notes, E, F, G, A, B, C, and D, and again, have somebody quiz you. You know, what's at the seventh fret? B, what's at the first fret? F, what's at the eighth fret? C, or the other way around. Where's C, the eighth fret? Where's G, the third fret? Memorize those on an absolute level before you worry about the sharps and flats. That way, when you go to memorize those, it's a very easy shift. If you know, a matter of fact, if you know where F is, you'll know where F sharp is, because it's just one higher, okay? So think about that. And then what we're gonna do in the next video is we're gonna expand on this. We're gonna start talking about a uh, simple memorization of the major scale and uh, a little bit of information about that. So if you like this video and you'd like to learn more, do me a favor, look for the link in the description and uh, click on it and check out Music Theory Made Easy 2.0 and I'll see you in the next video, okay?